So a few months back, I visited Kinokaniya Books and I got a bit of stationery there. It was super quaint and cozy and it had so many books and stationery and all sorts of products. But unfortunately, I was on a budget so I couldn't buy everything, but I did get a little bit of stationery. So in this haul, I'll be showing you all the stationery I got and showing you some swatches. So the first item that instantly caught my attention were these Cozy Comforts page flags by Girl of All Work. And on the back it says, did you know to get the most stick out of page flags, peel from side to side instead of top to bottom. These page flags really caught my attention because I love the designs, I love how cozy they look, they really remind me of fall, kind of Gilmore Girl vibes. and. I really, my favorite ones are the teapot since I am the biggest tea fan in the world. I'm definitely going to be using them for my notebooks, for my classes. Probably one per section or one per chapter. We'll see how that goes. So the first mechanical pencil that I got was this Pilot 0.3 S3S series and it was $5.95 so pretty expensive for pencil, not insanely expensive but definitely more pricey. So this was the first mechanical pencil I got. It also has an eraser at the end that you can pull out. The next mechanical pencil I got was the Zebra Hand Fit pencil and it's pink, so I always like pink. It's also very high quality, definitely like the grip, unlike the previous one it has a soft grip, so that was definitely a plus for me, but overall it was also a very nice high quality pencil and this one was only $3.95, so $2 cheaper. And it's a 0 0.5, which I overall prefer, so that was also a plus. So the next mechanical pencil that I got was really, really fancy. It came in its own separate box. It was $15.95. And apparently on the actual packaging, it says that the gel grips cushioning performance was shown with the egg drop test. An egg was dropped from 18 meters onto a sheet of the impact absorbing gel and did not even crack. So I think that the price for this pencil comes from the cushion or the gel grip and that's why it's so expensive. I guess it's new technology and that's why it costs more. But I'm not really sure if the price overall still justifies the quality of the pencil since it seems like overall the rest of the pencil is essentially the same as any other pencil just the grip is a little bit better so yeah but it's up to you to decide so this next pencil actually deceived me and broke my heart because i thought that it was the coolest pencil i had ever seen in my entire life i was so excited to open it and then i realized it was a pen it's the Zebra New Spiral, I think that's how you say it, and it cost $11.95, so it was a pretty expensive pen, but I really liked the cushioning. It wasn't as pillowy and amazing as the pencil cushioning from the Uni Alpha Gel pencil, but it's still very nice. And I honestly just really like the spiral portion. It just adds extra flavor, and I can totally see myself 
writing notes and just feeling all fancy pantsy because I have a spiral on my pen but yeah so that's pretty much my review of this one the actual quality of the pen writing isn't too exceptional it feels like a pretty much like a regular pen I don't think I'll be buying it again I think one time trying it was good enough for me So the next mechanical pencil I got was the Pilot Air Blanc 0.3 pencil and it cost only $3.95 so significantly cheaper than the previous ones that I showed but it also has a grip which I really like it also has an eraser which is very nice and it's green so I don't know if that's important, but it's green. So yeah, it's just a pretty much regular green mechanical pencil. And that's it. And the last mechanical pencil I got actually reminds me a lot of a pen that I used to have when I was a kid. I think I was in fifth grade and I was absolutely obsessed with it. It was also pink and had white polka dots so obviously once I saw this pencil I had to get it. It's only $3.95. A lot cheaper than the $15 pencil. It's a Pilot Fear Fear Corone 0.3. Also, it doesn't have a grip, which is a con for me since I overall like grips. And polka dots. Lots of polka dots. That's all I can say. Polka dots. And the last thing I got were these writable adhesive flags. I decided to change their name and on the back it says these adorable book buddies definitely have something to say. Use them to comment on your latest book club novel, textbook, or project. A fun and functional way to organize your thoughts. So it's also by Girl of All Work, but personally they seem actually a lot higher quality than some of my other adhesive flags so i actually peeled these cats from side to side to try to follow the tip from the previous page flag set so it seemed to work really well but i also appreciate that they have a lot more space for the sticky portion of it than most page flags so i definitely appreciate that So that's all I have for today's stationery haul. I hope you enjoyed the video and also I'm doing a giveaway. I have so much stationery to give away and they'll also be down in my description box so be sure to check that out. I'll see you later. Bye!